Is your Canva starting to look like a disorganized and cluttered mess? Do you waste tons of time looking for graphics and designs that you know are in your Canva somewhere? Do you wish there was a way that you could organize your Canva so you could quickly and easily find whatever you're looking for right when you need it? Then I have great news for you. I'm going to show you how to set up your Canva so that it's organized into a system that works for you and saves you time. Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Willow and I've been using Canva for almost nine years and now I use it daily for my business. And my channel is dedicated to sharing all the amazing things you can do with Canva, especially for small business owners like me. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. Whether you use Canva for personal use or business use, staying organized is a crucial time saver. I have over a thousand designs and well over a thousand graphics that I've uploaded to Canva. And if I had to scroll through all of those every time I was looking for something, I would waste so much time. I use folders in Canva to keep everything organized so that I can quickly and easily find whatever I'm looking for whenever I need it. Canva allows free account users two folders. Pro account users have an unlimited number of folders that they can use. I have a link in the description for you to get a free 30-day trial of the Canva Pro account. Be sure to grab that and give it a try. I know you're going to love it. So let's jump over to my computer and I'll show you how easy it is to get your Canva organized and set up into a system that works for you. We'll start from our homepage in Canva and from here you're going to go to your left sidebar and select your projects and this is where you will find your folders and you can see I have tons of them but the folders are really what makes it so easy to find what you're looking for when you need it. To create a folder you're going to go to the upper right corner and click on this plus button here. This menu will open and you want to select folder. Then you'll name your folder and you can invite team members here and then just click create folder and it's that simple. You've created your folder. Now that you see how easy it is to create a folder, I want to show you what I've done with my graphics folders to give you a better idea of what all you can do to organize your Canva. So within my graphics folders, I have created an additional 45 folders within the graphics folder. I've grouped all of my graphics by type. So when I I'm looking for something very specific I know exactly which folder to go to so let me show you a couple of other things that you can do with your folders go back to your projects where your folders are located so if you want to create folders within a folder it's basically the same process you open your folder and within that folder you'll go to the plus sign click folder and then name your folder again and now you've created a folder within a folder so let's go back to your your projects and let me show you a couple of other things. So if you accidentally create an extra folder, like I've made this one here as an example, you can pick this up and drag and drop it into this folder. You could actually go in and open the folder, click the three little dots, click move to folder, click the arrow on your project, and then select the folder that you want that design to go to and click move here and now you'll see that this folder is empty but when you go back to the first folder now this design is in that original folder as your number of designs grows you may find that you want to change your folders around a little bit and you might need to rename a folder to do that you want to click these three little dots this menu opens and just select rename and then you can rename your folder and click rename folder and it automatically changes it for you. So if you decide you want to delete a folder because you no longer need it, click on these three dots. This menu opens and you can click delete. But if you have folders inside that folder, this is the message you're going to get. So what you would have to do is go into the folder, click the three little dots on this folder and click delete and then go to this folder, click the three little dots and delete. And then you can go back to your project, click these three little dots 
and click delete. Now, if you leave something inside the folder, it's gonna give you this message to let you know that you're about to delete something inside that folder. If you wanna delete them both, just click delete folder and item and it deletes them both. If you're finding this video helpful, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. So now you know how to create a folder, you know how to create folders within folders, and you know how to rename them and how to delete them. So let me show you what it looks like from your artboard. From the artboard, you'll click on folders in your left sidebar, and when they open, all of the folders that you have created will be in this menu. You can select your folder and notice it adds it to the left sidebar. Now, because this folder has so many additional folders inside of it, I won't see them all when I click on it. I have to click the see all button and then it opens all of them. And if I want to add a graphic from one specific folder or an item from a specific folder, click on the folder, click on your graphic or your, your design and it adds it to your artboard. And then once you go back to one of the other tabs, you'll notice that the last folder that you opened and used is still in your left sidebar. You can go back folders again, click an additional folder, add a graphic, and then when you go to another tab, if there's room in your left sidebar, it will leave both folders in the left sidebar. Now, if your left sidebar is getting full and you don't want these to appear, select the icon in the left sidebar and click this X. That takes it out of the left sidebar. It does not remove remove the folder and it does not remove it from your folders button. It just removes it from the left sidebar. So looking at the folders again, you want to make sure that when you are organizing your Canva, that however you create your file system is something that works for you. Your folders are where it's at for Canva organization. I really hope you found this video all about organizing your Canva to be super helpful. And if you did find value in this video, please be sure to give it a like like, hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. Be sure to grab the quick start guide to using Canva if you're a beginning Canva user. This will really help you with the foundations of Canva and I'll be sure to post a link in the description below. And no matter what level of Canva user you are, be sure to grab my 223 Canva Element Keywords ebook. This will help you find a ton of hidden elements in Canva that you can use in your designs. And of course, don't forget to grab that 30 day trial of Canva Pro in the description below so you can get all of your folders set up and your system going. I'd love to know what your first folder is going to be, so be sure to post that in the comments below. And if you have any questions about today's video or Canva in general, be sure to post those below and I'll get back to you just as quick as I can. I can't wait to see you next week when we'll be talking all about fonts. And until then, have a great week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.